guys, it's me, Jorplays, and welcome back to another episode. No, not episode. To another how to video. So, I'm gonna be teaching you on how to make a proper chest room with hoppers, by the way. So, um, first person, you're gonna need chest and hoppers. Also, in my last video, I taught you how to make an auto smelter. So you can, you know, match this up. But we're gonna be focusing on the chest room. Maybe, yeah, the next episode will be this and the chest room formed into each other or something. So you just do this. You can start at the bottom first. Oh, oops. You can start at the bottom. You can start at the bottom. The bottom. Bottom. And put some hoppers. You need to do exactly what I do. Okay? You need to do this. If you do something wrong, then game over. Like so, you just do this over and over. Oh, shoot. shoot. By the way, you don't need the wood that I put. Oh, it's raining. Weather clear. Okay, let's put that chest back that I broke. Um, let's continue like so. And then with plants. You don't need this. All you need is the hoppers and the chest. So you continue doing this as long as you want. As long, like, as tall, I mean. As long as you have enough chests and hoppers. Hoppers is, are quite expensive. For one hopper, you need five iron, I believe. I don't know. Get that out of here. Five hoppers, I mean, not hoppers, iron, and one chest. So, that's gonna cost more chests. But unless you're in creative like me, unlimited resources. Mwahaha. <laughs> so, this, you can't really organize it. You can, but you can only use the bottom. Because look at this. If I put one, if I put, um, let's say, okay, one chest here, it will disappear. And we'll go to the hopper, go hopper, I mean go here, go to the hopper, hopper, and make it to the bottom chest. Sorry for my English. Like this, and then going down, and there we go. So, this is very useful, and maybe grinders talking to you factions, faction, those faction players out there. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. See you in the next one. Peace out.